And hello YouTube. Uh, let me try this again. <laughs> I just tried to shoot a video on my way into Del Taco and um, yeah, I, I got less than less than a minute and ran out of space. So uh, cleared a little bit of space off the micro SD card. So I, I should have enough to get this entire drive uh, in as a video. Although, yeah, I haven't been so good at that this week. Um, I keep trying to capture like a full drive home from Amazon just to get an idea of like how long it takes more than anything and compare different routes. And, and uh, yeah, I always end up just running out of uh, running out of space before I get get home so and those people did not stop and that guy did not stop no three out of three vehicles in front of me not stopping for the hog yeah <laughs> welcome to phoenix where uh, red lights are pretty much viewed as optional at State Route 74. This is due to a deadly accident. The eastbound lanes were closed. They have reopened. Uh, one little note here, if you are trying to get through there, avoid Castle Hot Springs Road. A lot of folks are trying to cut the corner there, and there's been some issue with the road there, so the police are going to be shutting that down, it appears. I-10 eastbound at 16th Street, that overturned box truck with the HOV and left two lanes open, but all of the lanes to the right are still blocked off and a heavy backup starting at 35th Avenue. US 60 in the East Valley still shut down. Eastbound from from I-10 over to McClintock, westbound side between the Loop 101 and McClintock due to that water line break. And watch for a surface street crash, Thomas Road at 32nd Street. Ooh. Chuck Rowe, KTAR News. Heading into the hottest weekend of the year so far. Glad I took my dowel. With lows in the 60s, Not Thomas. We'll to 104 for a high. Then Sunday starts off with lows in the 70s, but we warm to 106 for a high, putting us nearly 15 degrees above average and just one degree shy of the record that day. I'm oh, damn. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. I'm, uh, uh, glad I'm not outside waiting for the bus. 96 house. degrees in Phoenix at 602. Arizona's immigration crisis. We're learning new details about Governor Ducey's recently unveiled plans to bus migrants to Washington, D.C. Ah, oh, he's doing like Texas. Now, That's funny. Migrants have been sent on two buses from Arizona to Washington, D.C. this week. The governor's office says the program is being funded by the Border Security Fund, but plan to send the bill to the Department of Homeland Security. I'm sure We've they'll get right the on paying that. Agreed to pay for the cost of busing. The governor's office responded, quote, we expect them to do the right thing, end quote. The buses can hold up to 40 migrants and stop every six hours to change drivers. The governor's office says the program will continue as long as there's, quote, interest. Taylor Kinnerup, KTAR News. And more manpower is headed to the Arizona southern border. Expect them to do the right thing. That's really funny when nobody can agree on what the right thing is. In a hands-off approach. Since the emergency declaration, we've been providing administrative, medical, maintenance, and logistical operational support. And in this particular request... So, um, yeah, I'm kind of stuck in traffic because I uh, data gathered by their waited too late in the day to uh, head out. On my way to Bullock's, as per usual, for Friday. makes a plan to deal with the expected surge of migrants. It is obvious that number one, we are still in a pandemic, and number two, it is clear that Secretary Mayorkas and the Department of Homeland Security are not prepared for the end of Title 42. Senator Cinema tells KTAR she believes that bill will pass in the next few weeks. Luke Forster, KTAR News. <laughs> To the championship. Yeah, Phoenix Suns got their ass kicked yesterday. Suns 86, the lowest point total of the season or playoffs for Phoenix. Tip-off time hasn't been set yet, but the Suns will be home Sunday, hoping to stay in the hunt for an NBA title after last night's blowout loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Western Conference semifinals now knotted up at 3-3. After the game, the Suns' Devin Booker called Game 7. There's two words in sports. I'm not sure anxious Suns fans agree. This is Booker's first game. So uh, in spite of the Suns getting their asses kicked yesterday, I did have a really good show. Um, 
and good energy after the show. I think the show started probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes late because of it, but I tried to make the most of it, and uh, I did have my computer up and ready to go and all the sound system hooked up before 9 o'clock, and then that half hour I just kind of worked on music. Um, Russia for another month at least. She appeared in court today handcuffed, her dreadlocks covered in a red hoodie and her face held low. The White House says they're trying to get her home after she was detained in February for reportedly having passed beef oil at a Russian airport. Defending champion Phil Nichols. Oh, world, she just legalized that stuff. Just saying. He did that Nichols is currently eligible to be a PGA Life member, and they welcomed him to participate. They also wished him the best of luck. The star golfer has been on So, yeah, I stopped at uh, the Del Taco drive through made earlier this year. You get something to eat. I haven't ate since um, Water. the burger I got on my way home from uh, Bullock's. And I didn't shoot a video on the way home from Bullock's just because I was just kind of tired. Didn't feel like I really had anything positive to say. I didn't even say, period. Um, So far, Sean Benedict with the National Weather Service says starting tomorrow, Phoenix will be at 100 degrees or higher every day through Thursday. Time of year, we're usually about mid 90s, so we're looking at 100 degrees or higher all week next week. This weekend and into early next week. If you're heading up to high country to escape yeah. heat, be extremely Glad careful. Glad I'm not careful out with anything waiting that for the bus. That's all I gotta say about that. Fire. Make sure you're not dragging trailer chains. Don't pull off into dry grass. Valerie Mueller with the National so, um, Weather Service. So, yeah, not only did I not get up early enough to get to breakfast at uh, Bullock's. Actually, I was early enough to get breakfast at Bullock's, but I just realized that if I was to head out, I'd, I'd burn out way too early because I was running on not enough sleep. Um, a Valley Pet Rescue wants to remind but, you of the best ways to protect your pets from the heat. Nicole Bosch with Lost Our Home Pet um, Rescue in Tempe stresses that the pavement is too hot for your feet, it's too hot for your pet. And she recommends limiting daytime walks. A lot of light-colored pets can get sunburned, so talk to your vet about a pet-friendly sunblock you can use and where to put it on your particular pet. And she says if your pet's going to be outside, make sure they have water and shade available. The country is more than two years into the COVID-19 pandemic, and one Arizona expert says herd immunity is out of the question. Will Humble, the executive director of Arizona... Interesting, because I feel completely comfortable with herd immunity. ...community immunity, which he explains means we have Same immunity thing. cells in the majority of people's bodies from either vaccination, infection, or both. The nature of this virus is that you can get reinfected, and so for that reason, we will never, ever get to herd immunity. Like you mean like every other flu? What do you fucking do? achieving community immunity to the widespread Omicron variant. Taylor Tassler, KTAR News. Arizona's own former U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor is the subject of a new musical. Her arguments, debates, and friendship with the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg takes center stage, showcasing the first two women on the Supreme Court. Writer Lauren Gunderson said it felt timely and necessary. That's part of what I think is so exciting about writing this. It really is about bipartisanship and a way for really working across the aisle. Justice will be at the Herb River Theater until May 22nd. To give more info at ATC.org. The man accused of last month's deadly New York City subway shooting was in court today to enter a plea on terror charges. Frank James lumbered into court under the guard of two U.S. Marshals, and when the judge asked how he was doing, James replied, pretty good. James pleaded not guilty to a federal charge of carrying out a terror attack on a mass transit system and discharging a 9mm Glock during the crime. Ten commuters were shot and wounded during the morning commute on a Manhattan-bound N-train in Just what another Federal day in New York. an entirely premeditated attack. Aaron Kitersky, ABC News at Brooklyn Federal Court. 
health experts say there are safe ways and unsafe ways to deal with the baby formula shortage. Some parents have considered diluting the formula powder with water to make it last longer. That's dangerous, says That's registered dumb. dietitian Laura Serkey with the NICU at the University of Louisville. That's just dumb. Why don't you all do that with your own food? Why is the parents really that stupid now? Formula. Doctors are also urging parents not to make formula at home. They say some kids over six months can temporarily drink cow's milk after consulting with the doctor. And those in urgent need may be able to receive formula directly from a manufacturer with the help of a pediatrician. Ryan Clark, ABC News. Coming up in just a few minutes, more Arizona National Guard. Or, you know, you are heading to our like you're southern to. border. We'll find out why. And we check in again on your I ride pump. home. KTAR News Time, 640. Do you need some work done on your home? Or are you about to take on some do-it-yourselfing? Before you pick up that hammer, before you pick Damn, up that Mr. phone, you need Rosie. Rosie, on the house. Every Arizona homeowner's best oh, friend for over 30 years. I should have got something to drink at Del Taco. Now I'm like super thirsty and I still got quite a bit of drive to go. Hi, it's Becky Lynn. I know so many who are trying to buy a home and getting nowhere. So when I checked the traffic app, it, it showed that... Uh, Lou 202 showed a lot of congestion. Um, I-10 from Loop 202, past 16th Street, showed quite a bit of congestion, most likely due to that accident that was just reported on at 16th Street, even with it being on the other side. You always get that looky loo delay from people slowing down to look at the accident from the other side. <laughs> because people gotta slow down and look. Heaven forbid they pay attention to what they're fucking supposed to be paying attention to, which is driving. But yeah, it looks okay on this side. Oh, look at the congestion. I don't know if y'all can see it in the video, but the congestion coming out of the tunnel is awful. It's just a, looks like a parking lot on the other side of I-10. Uh, I've been so distracted by KTAR, I haven't really... <laughs> have I finished a single sentence? Have I completed any thoughts? No, probably not. Anyway, um... So yeah, last night's karaoke show was pretty decent. Um, as per usual, a lot of uh, women that I consider hot uh, dancing and grinding on the dance floor, but none of them going home with me, damn it. Um, it, at least I had at least I had two of them texting me until the wee hours of the morning. I guess that's worth something. Um, um, Bree at 27th Avenue, right lane block. That's fine. I'm going to go north on 17 and not worry about it. Um, you know, even though I could have left right after 2... Uh, I actually ended up staying until about, oh, let's say about 3.20-ish, maybe 3, uh, 3.15, something. I really didn't watch the clock that closely. I really didn't watch the clock that closely because um, I was more focused on what I was doing, uh, which was basically finishing the music that I started working on the end of the Suns game that I didn't finish before the show. That way I wouldn't have unfinished files that I forget about. Because that, that's kind of a problem for me. Like, I'll start working on music and then I'll get stuff I don't finish. Now, it only becomes like a real problem when I add it to the database, you know, to my Songbook TV website and I don't get the files finished and put away because then then I end up in that situation where somebody looks at my website and they're like, well, it says you've got this song available to sing. And 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 I do, wow, what the fuck is it? You know, it's not in the artist directory where it's supposed to be. Um, and I know there are a handful of instances of that in my library, which, you know, I guess is to be expected. We're talking a library of around 40,000 different songs, so... You know, even with a point zero 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 you know one percent margin of error, there's still going to be some some error in there. So I try really hard not to let that happen. But anyway, I I, I did sense the potential of that, and I 
so I made a point not to not to add the song to the database. Although sometimes it happens in the other direction. Sometimes I'm so concerned about not having a flaw in my database that I get the song finished, I get the song put away, and I don't get it added to the database, which is also kind of a problem. And I've noticed errors like that over the years as well. I mean, for the longest time, there was a, a Tupac song that people used to regularly sing, and I remember somebody asking, they said, oh, well, you don't have that. I'm like, sure I do. People sing that all the time. And he's like, well, it's, it's not on your website. I'm like, what do you mean it's not on my website? Sure as shit, it was, it was not on my website. Um, all right, we've got an SUV completely cutting me off. Even though his lane was ending and I had the right-of-way. These guys blink her on, so I'm sure he's working on cutting somebody else off. Yeah, I let people like that just go ahead of me because I figure the farther away they are from me, the less likely of me being involved when they inevitably get in an accident. <coughs> oh. AAA says the Valley average is 484, up three cents from yesterday. Ooh, it went up. The beat the I was kind of hoping it was going to go down, down a little bit. Seven in the West <coughs> semifinal Sunday in Phoenix. Um, Coach Monty Williams I'm still at over a quarter tank, so. I can. I guess I can gamble that gas goes down on another day. I've probably got enough gas to get me through the next, you know, two, three days. So I think time in between games will allow. Um, you can catch the game Sunday on ninety eight. And of course, come Sunday, I can always, uh, you know, take the bus if I really want to save gas. Um, I expect I probably won't. And, and as much as I had positive, uh, and much as I had uh, aspirations to continue to use the bus for a portion of my commute, it feels so good to be the fuck off the bus and to just be in my nice air-conditioned car, which really isn't such a nice car, but just to be in you know, my air-conditioning and have my radio and just, just not be surrounded by so much of the craziness that happens on city buses. I'm, I'm not worried about anybody uh, anybody causing problems getting on or getting on or getting in or out of my car that's going to cause me to sit and wait at a street corner for 20 minutes and miss my transfer to my next car. I, I don't have to worry about that in the car, but that's uh, yeah, that was a daily stress on the bus. So. Now, I really do need to contact uh, Valley Metro about parking overnight. It's uh, parking, you know, getting a, an overnight parking permit for parking rides. And I should really look for a convenient place to park uh, downtown that gets me directly onto the... Uh, Oh, fun times. We've got more idiots. It's happened in Mesa six times in the past two months, says Mariano Reyes with the city. If the driver is able to catch the fire early on, then you know, a lot of times the truck, once it goes through its inspection, they can put it back in service. But in other cases, Mesa's sanitation department gets burned. We actually have two trucks that were in recent fires, and the damage that was caused to the truck is actually putting them out of service. Ooh. So we're estimating about a year. SUV on that narrow shoulder. shoulder, that sucks. There's a wide range well, of things already. that could be starting these fires, from aerosol cans to paint materials to lithium batteries. If you have hazardous materials to toss, Reyes says to check with your city. Most municipalities have some type of hazardous waste material disposal program available. So you make this case, we actually have Oh, so anyway, yeah, sorry, my dialogue is kind of useless today. I'm, I'm a little groggy and easily distracted by uh, KTAR. <clears throat> so... But I'm interested in the stuff that they're reporting, so there's that. Um, and, and, and that's interesting because, you know, uh, up until last week, my main source of getting news was just basically reading stuff on my phone as I was riding uh, on the bus. So, obviously, I can't be doing that while I'm driving. Um, so... Uh, yeah, my plan today was to try to get up at a, at a kind of early hour and maybe catch lunch or at least, or maybe catch uh, breakfast or at least catch dollar tacos at uh, 
Bullocks and spend a good solid day working on music. And it's almost seven o'clock. I got 649 right now. And basically I'm showing up in time to break my computer down. So kind of a waste of a drive here and back. I mean, yeah, I should probably be more frugal with gas. Although, I don't know. Um, it, it, it usually feels nice to show up here on Fridays. At least, you know, people are super, usually super friendly with me. And generally speaking, if I just get a Coke, they'll comp that. Because honestly, I don't, I really don't feel like drinking right now. I didn't really do any drinking last night either. I mean, theoretically, I get free drinks, but it was just so busy that um, I had really no way to get them. Um, Jazzy did get me one Miller Lite, <laughs> and that was a bottle, not a pitcher. So, yeah, I drank I drank a whopping one uh, bottle of beer, which is essentially nothing. And um, at the end of the night, uh, her and I split a shot. So, yeah, I, I may as well not been drinking at all. And by end of the night, I mean like well after close. Um, I usually park on is full. I'm here so damn late. Oh, there we go. VIP parking right in front. Uh, problem solved. Anyway, sorry to have such a long vlog with so little content. I'm just uh, not very focused today. But hey, at least I know that even at this time of day, I can get to uh, Bullocks in 21 minutes. With a, well, actually, I guess I started a couple minutes, a few minutes after I left home, but, but yeah. Definitely less than 25 minutes with a stop at uh, Del Taco, so. Still beat the shit out of riding on the bus. Um, anyway, hopefully I shoot some more videos tonight. I don't really have any plans for tonight, but I need to get inside. I want to at least get a little bit more music done. Um, I did add two songs uh, for karaoke. I didn't get anything added before uh, before the show in spite of trying to, but I did get some stuff done, you know, while I was waiting for the game to end. But uh, after the show, I added karaoke for a recent song, and by recent I mean like within the last two years, from uh, Aloe Black. The song's called I Do. Wasn't a hit whatsoever. The video has a, almost 3 million views on YouTube, so I mean, some people know who the song is, what, what the song is, but yeah, not a hit. Um, in spite of the song being about marriage and lifelong love, which is something, things that generally just make me uh, gag and roll my eyes, um, I really did enjoy the song. It's a really beautiful song, and I absolutely love Aloe Black singing, so I expect I'll probably play that video at least once see what kind of crowd feedback I get out of it and I'm, we'll probably try singing the song at least once to see what kind of crowd feedback I get after it as far as how many other people are going to sing that song eh, probably none but hey it's kind of neat to know that if somebody else is into Aloe Black and they do a search on my uh, songbook DB they'll see that wow you know, this guy's got some Aloe Black that's interesting um, I also added karaoke for President Gas by uh, the Psychedelic Furs, and obviously I don't have shit for people at Bullock singing Psychedelic Furs, but that's one of those uh, 80s new wave bands that I consider to be pretty damn essential and always eager to get more songs by them. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to work at on when I get in there. Um, I know I'm sitting on some more Psych Furs, and that's a section I would like to make as big as possible. So, on that note, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe. There'll be more videos.